I had a dress on, a sundress. We're having a bunch of people over today and I was like, okay, let me just like, you know, I put, I put eyeshadow on you guys. I put eyeshadow on. And then I just, I'm not feeling it. And I was like, I just, do you ever just feel like you've been up forever but have gotten zero done? I mean, I showered, so I guess that's something, right, but <laughs> Yeah, I showered. Success. I have to whip together some food today since we're having people over. It's it's mostly outside, but I know some people will trickle inside. They have to use the bathroom, whatever. So I need to get the bathrooms uh, tidied. I feel like my house isn't that bad. I've been keeping on top of stuff pretty good. Now my battery's dying. It's fantastic. I do need to tidy the kitchen, just like maybe vacuum a little bit. Most importantly, I'm going to share a couple of recipes with you. That would be great for like Easter side dishes. Is it Easter yet? When am I sharing this? I don't know. Or just every day, so just good food, okay? Good food, I'm gonna make them. I also have some fruit to chop up. The other day I went to Sprouts and got some fruit just on a whim. Some of the best fruit. This is not from Sprouts, but I'm sure it'll still be good. Fruit is good. All right, let's uh, get to chopping. I need to make some stuff. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I'm making. I know I'm gonna cut up pineapple kiwi. That'll be great. Mostly, I want to eat some. I don't think we have any strawberries. Um, and then I wanna make this Italian chopped salad. It's one of my favorites. It's not even really a salad, but it's a crowd pleaser. You can add lettuce to it. What is considered a salad these days, okay? Because remember when I made that strawberry fluff salad, which is basically strawberries and then a whole bunch of sugar? That's one of my favorite salads. And then a loaded baked potato salad. Again, no lettuce. Sounds delicious. Oh, what do I need and what am I gonna do first? I need some eggs for the loaded baked potato salad. Potato salad. I like potato salad with eggs in it. Anyway, you know when I was, um, when I was putting him down for a nap, he just woke up. That's why he might look a little drowsy. When I was scrolling Instagram, DW, you guys know the DW candles I love. They have all kinds of crazy scents. Hot dog. They're coming out with hot dog. And I also saw mac and cheese hand soap. Sign me up. I have a few potatoes here. I don't think this is gonna be enough. Okay, I do. Uh, these are a little spuddy. And by a little spuddy, I mean a lot spuddy. Oh wait, but I just got potatoes. I'll use these. Spuds never hurt anyone. Did you know that you can grow potatoes like this? with the, the spuds on them, I'm so excited, I can't speak. I actually bought contain, like containers to put potatoes in to grow more potatoes. Surprise, I haven't used them yet. <laughs> oh my word, it's not exaggerating, been 40 more minutes. This is why I feel like I can't get anything done. Okay, I'm gonna pour water in here and I feel like I am going to pour more than it asks for because my eggs always like explode. And then I'm gonna load this thing up. I need to get my baby wrap through this a little faster, but because Wolfgang has started this thing, I don't know if you can see when I'm holding him, he like catapults himself. He just wants to be in all the business. And then, you know, my back starts to break and I'm like, oh my God. But that's okay, he just wants to explore. That's how kids learn. The best part of this, is I just turn it on and it does its thing and then plays a musical tune when it's finished. And then I'm gonna throw some pasta on. This is for, oh my gosh, what have I not cleaned my stove since I moved in? That, I'm embarrassed. Just don't take a close look. This is for the Italian chopped salad. I still need to brush my hair. And I have some Diatellini pasta. Do you know that they recalled some pasta? What is it? I forgot what kind. Or not recalled, they just discontinued it. I have questions. Oh crap, we need a pot for potatoes. But you know with potatoes, uh, the water, you put the potatoes in. I'm gonna peel mine. Should I peel mine? I can't remember what I've done in the past. Wait, you want a potato? Here, have at it. All right, well if you're wondering, this is how I get anything done. <laughs> I feel like in the past I've left the potato skins on. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't matter. I'm definitely gonna um, peel the, I'm just gonna peel them all. I'm, I know I'm gonna peel the ones with spuds on them, so I might as well make it all cohesive. What is this, my first time peeling potatoes? How do I do this? I might elicit the help of Eleanor, but what I was saying before is when you 
boiled potatoes, you wanna put the potatoes into like tap water, like room temperature water, and then bring everything up to a bubble together. Because if you throw potatoes into already boiling water, the outside will cook faster than the inside, and that's how you get lumpy potatoes. And no one wants lumpy potatoes in their loaded potato salad. There's no way I'm doing this right. <laughs> what do I push it? I feel like this should be, I'm not supposed to bring it toward me. Isn't that a no-no? I think I figured it out. You know how you peel um, carrots? Oh gosh, I'm gonna cut my finger open. You go up and down. I probably won't continue doing this because it feels extremely unsafe. All right, I think I got a rhythm down. It's a rhythm dancing. The water is finally boiling. I feel like in my last house, it literally took a mi one minute for my water to come to a bubble. I'm gonna add one cup of this and then a little bit more of this pasta. We had an induction stove top and I thought that was amazing. And I thought this was the same thing, but it takes forever for my water to come up to a boil. Anyway, I'm gonna cook that for the salad. I'm gonna pop back over here and just cut my potatoes into just bite-sized pieces. I peeled a lot more potatoes than the recipe calls for, but I feel like whatever I have left over, I'll just make mashed potatoes with. It's a true companion. Okay, I have my uh, potatoes up here. Looking real good, I'm gonna get them to the stove top. Isn't that a lovely noise? I'm just gonna throw these eggs. Oh, see, what the heck? What the heck, how do I? prevent this from happening. Do you see? What the heck? Oh my gosh, all of them? Really? Ridiculous. Well, if you're keeping up, I drained the pasta and threw it in the fridge and I'm gonna let it cool down before I add it to the rest of the pasta salad that I haven't even put together yet. These eggs, oh my gosh, this dash maker used to be so incredible. What the heck is happening with my life? And I know you're like, oh, the eggs have to be old. These are old. And don't even talk to me about the Instant Pot. I don't wanna hear that. I feel like just sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Good thing I'm chopping up these eggs and not making deviled eggs because they look real funky. I'm gonna have to perfect this before I make deviled eggs next week. I've made deviled eggs before. I, maybe I added too much water. I'm gonna have to actually read the directions on this thing. Like, what, which way to poke the hole? Which way to put the poke? Am I supposed to put the poke downward? I gotta watch a tutorial. If you want some satisfying peeling, I feel like this will be the one to do it. It's just the rhythm of the night. Oh yeah. All right, now I really, you know what? Forget it, this one was perfection. I think I just didn't let them sit long enough. But then I feel like if I let them sit too long in the ice, then they're hard to peel. Oh, there it is. There's the magic right there. A magic moment when my egg peel came off clean. I just watched. There's an actual video by Dash. And it had someone explaining. I'm still kind of like struck by it. Exactly why and how you do things physics are involved it's a short video i'll try to link it below or you can just google it like i did amazing stuff now i know what to do Fl fat side up poke a hole okay i'm gonna throw together the rest of the ingredients or start the uh italian chopped salad i have a can of garbanzo beans just rinsed and drained and looking lovely we're gonna do a little pinterest worthy we're gonna do our best i don't know how it's gonna come out and then the reasons why I love this salad so much is because it has olives in it. Oh my gosh. I used to take the time to cut these in half. How many servings are in olives? Five olives is one serving. That just doesn't seem fair. All right, I'm gonna throw some olives in here. You can give them a chop if you want, but I don't want, because why waste my time if I don't have to? I'm sure the recipe calls for like, I don't know, a quarter cup or something, but I do way more. Salty, salty, salty. Next up on the docket, artichokes. I get them marinated, marinated artichoke hearts and they're quartered, but I still go in there and give them a rough chop. I got two jars. These are the larger jars. Um, I feel like one jar is probably gonna be good enough. I used to not like artichoke hearts 
until I ate one and I was like, dang, this is delicious. Okay. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Artichoke hearts. Throwing these in. And then I'm gonna dice up this summer sausage. If you don't know where to find this, because I didn't for the longest time, it's by the pepperoni. I thought, oh, let me go to the deli section. Oh, not there. And just like pepperoni, you have to like take the skin off of it. This is a hunk and a half of meat. I don't think it calls for this whole thing, but I go above and beyond. I'm sure you can just get salami or maybe even pepperoni if you don't feel like getting one of these. Use what you have, take the recipe as a guideline. My sister made this recipe years and years ago and the second she brought it to one of our family dinners, I was like, I need this, this is amazing. And I've been making it ever since and it has been a favorite. If you have high blood pressure, look away, okay? This is a high sodium uh, salad over here and I'm gonna make the dressing. Of, of course, oh wait, a couple more things in here. Hold up. I'm going to dice up some green onions. This adds so much flavor. And you guys know, fresh herbs always elevate a dish. I'm gonna throw this in just to give it a little bit of color. You can also add tomatoes to this, but I don't like tomatoes. And it also calls for cheese, but I feel like that kind of ruins it. You can add dice up some cheese if you wanna add that too. Now I'm going to whip up a really simple dressing. One tablespoon of Dijon, two tablespoons of honey, a one and a two. <laughs> I like it extra sweet. And then I'm gonna scoop out a couple cloves of garlic in here. A one clove, now some salt and pepper. Also adding, of course, Italian seasoning for our Italian chopped salad. Half a cup of red wine vinegar. Should have got a bigger bowl. Half a cup of olive oil. And then mix all of this together. The Dijon is really gonna emulsify everything and make it all nice and cohesive. I used to make, oh gosh, I used to make homemade salad dressings all the time. But then, you know, convenience took over and sometimes you just gotta give in. This pasta I've had in the fridge, just, I left it in my little thing. I don't think I rinsed it, it's still very hot. So if you have cheese in yours, don't add it yet. I'm gonna give it another rinse. I don't think I rinsed it. If you plan your life better than I do, and uh, you make this ahead of time, don't rinse the pasta because that starchiness is going to allow the uh, dressing to really stick to it. But I'm just gonna add everything together. Leave it in my fridge so everything's nice and cool when I serve it. I didn't get a big enough bowl. Sometimes you just gotta go in with your hands. Oh, and add in romaine lettuce. Three cups of that. I'm fresh out, and I also find that if you don't add the lettuce until you're about to serve it, because then it'll wilt with all of this stuff in there. Bon appetit. Just a little taste test for the chef. Never hurt anybody. D. Lift chef. So back to the potatoes. These have been on the stove top, starching up my stove top and stuff. I'm just gonna see if they're done. Mm, you wanna wait till they're fork tender. So that one is, some, hold on, let me get a, I have to have a good variation of variables. All right, I think I'm gonna drain it. Good enough. I'm gonna drain the potatoes. I also threw some micro, microwave, some bacon in the microwave. It's like already pre-cooked. Oh, I put the potatoes in the fridge. I'm not even joking you. Potato in my eye. Get it out. It shot right in my eye. Oh, it's still in there. Alex, Avelina, Eleanor. Can you run outside and give me the mayonnaise? Yay! The dressing calls for mayonnaise, all the other stuff. This is just left over on my counter. I don't wanna waste food. For a second, I'm not even joking, I didn't feel like going outside because they're already like putting out condiments and stuff, hot dogs and hamburgers and sausage. So the mayonnaise is out there. And I was like, I'll just make my own dang mayonnaise. <laughs> it's like, I need egg, oil, not sure what else, but I'm sure I've got the rest of it. So for the potato salad sauce, I need a bowl, but not like a big, oh, a normal bowl. Here we go. Three fourths cup of plain yogurt. I'm just gonna eyeball everything. That's what I do every other day of my life. Two teaspoons of the Dijon mustard. And really, this is the MVP of today. Three teaspoons of dill pickle juice. Oh, did any get in? Perfect. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And then three 
tablespoons of mayonnaise. A one, a two, a three, and more. And that is la sauce. I feel like there used to be vinegar in this or something. Am I missing anything? I don't know, maybe not. That's good enough, I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, for the rest of the pot loaded potato salad, I have my nice little fancy bowl here. It calls for two tablespoons of minced dill pickle. And I'm just wondering, what the heck is that gonna do? I always add way more. I mean, I don't put pickles on, pota on po loaded potatoes, but potato salad, heck to the yes. I'm literally salivating. I want to eat the so bird. So I have four little ones here. I'll probably do more than this, but let's just start here. I'm going to give it a good mince too. That's probably a cup and I still feel like that's not enough. And then it's so ridiculous. This is why I need to just make my own recipe and not come back to this one every time. It calls for two eggs. What am I gonna do with two? I can eat two eggs while I'm looking for something else to eat. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna give that a chop, but I'm probably going to do, I don't know, six eggs. You know what? I made the executive decision. I'm gonna do eight. I'm trying to eat high protein. And then, man, this cutting board is real gross. I'm gonna grab my green onions and add the rest of them to this too. It's gonna give it that nice oniony flavor a nice freshness to the dish. Oh, and then I almost forgot. The bacon, nice crispy bacon. And I'm just gonna cut it. Ooh, gosh, it's scalding hot. I'm gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna combine everything into a bowl, but I'm also very weary because the bacon is still warm, the potatoes are still warm. I want a nice cool potato salad, so I'm gonna wait to add the cheese. Until the very last minute, I am going to add the potatoes now and the dressing and then toss to combine. This really is a staple and one of my favorites. It's great for barbecues or anything outdoor. If you ever need any kind of side dish, just bring this. I feel like it's good for every season. Thanksgiving, Christmas, who cares? Gonna go in for a taste test. I should cut these a little smaller, but whatever. Great, fantastic, wonderful. A little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. And then I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge and then I'll add some cheese. It's not as pretty anymore, but it sure does taste good. Now I'm gonna rummage through my fridge and see what kind of vegetables and fruit I can come up with. Everything is like packed in here. All right, we got cucumber, I have celery, I have peppers, I have broccoli, I have mac and cheese. Oh my goodness, is it lunch time? I made this last night, it's so good. Okay. I feel like that's good enough. Let's chop some stuff up. It always motivates me and actually watching this video back, I'm thinking, ooh, I have some leftover veggies in my fridge. I need to pull them out. The lawn guy is seriously right outside my window. It's now the best time for that. Don't, doesn't he know I'm trying to, uh, you know, talk to my friends and he's out there like, doesn't she know I'm trying to make her lawn look good? Anyway, I have veggies left over in my fridge and watching these clips play back, I'm like, oh, I should grab those. That's probably a better snack than the leftover cookie dough that I have been snacking on. You know what I mean? It's like make a healthy choice. And this, whenever I watch someone prep a bunch of fruit or vegetables, it's always a good, I don't know, inspiration for me to just make a healthy choice. So here is my news to you. Hey, after you eat brownies, why don't you go ahead and grab some veggies? Isn't that what, what we all need to hear? But keep it balanced, okay? I'm still going to eat my brownies. But that tray, oh my gosh, looks so pretty. And I saved so much money cutting the dang veggies by myself. Like a veggie platter? Have you been to Publix? It's like four pieces of broccoli, one carrot cut up, and it's... I don't know, an ungodly amount of money, $15, $14.99. Like, is this a joke? No, it's insane. Please, if you have 10 minutes to spare, <laughs> make your own veggie tray. It, it saves so much money and you can personalize it because honestly, what comes in there? The sweet peppers, I feel like those, the bigger peppers, no one really grabs those, right? And then they're left or like, there's always one 
vegetable that's like no one ever touches. So, you know, you can put the veggies on there that you actually eat. And then the fruit tray, I got to tell you, every thing I put together, every party, every get together, whatever, fruit first to go. And I tell myself every time, double the fruit, double the fruit. And then, you know, sometimes I forget or don't I don't plan accordingly. But the fruit is always the first to go. And, you know, I just have to remind myself next time, especially for Easter, because I'm gearing up and making my uh, list for Easter thinking, OK, what am I going to buy? What am I going to do? And that's one of those things that I need to make sure that I do is uh, double up on the fruit. And I have been loving this tropical combo of pineapple, kiwi, and strawberry. Been loving that. Wolfgang is smacking his lips. And uh, earlier he was grabbing onto the microphone. So sorry about that. Now I have the whole situation. Hopefully is better. But that's one of my favorite combos is that tropical blend. Well, I call it a tropical blend. I don't know. Mango would be great in there too, but I love, oh my gosh, the fresh pineapple so much better than when the, it's like pre-cut, whatever. And then someone brought by uh, this cheese and salami. It's the dry salami with the peppercorns in it. Not my fave. Well, okay, I like it, but my kids don't like it, so I never buy it. And I know they always have it at Costco, but whoever bought it grabbed it from Sprouts and they always have a great selection of stuff. It just costs an arm and a leg, right? I mean, their produce on sale doesn't. They really great prices on the produce, but I feel like everything else in the store. But also it's like a specialty item store. If you've never been to Sprouts, they have a ton of um, like gluten-free options and dairy-free, all that good stuff. I could not get this package open to save my life. I was like, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever. It's not even like my hands were greasy from the pepperoni, from the, what? Uh, what is that? Salami? <laughs> It was just, I'm weak. <laughs> I don't know what was happening. Grabbed a knife and I won that battle, needless to say. Anyway, so I'm just throwing this all on a platter, cheese, and I added some crackers and we're good to go. And then I just, you know, finished off whatever I made, the potato salad. I threw some cheese on, which I will say is better with the sharp cheddar if you plan accordingly <laughs> and have that on hand. That would be great. Uh, um, I did not. And then I don't know what else I had to do, but I just took everything out. And then by the time I did that, literally Alex opened the door and he's like, I have all these hands to help bring everything out. And I said, that's fantastic. So I'm just throwing together a few more things, <coughs> chips and oranges. So I'm grabbing a few last minute things, the oranges, the chips. I almost forgot that I got a bunch of hummus. It was buy one, get one free. So I grabbed some spicy hummus. It was supremely spicy spinach and artichoke dip hummus and then just some classic hummus. But I have to tell you, a whole bunch of people came in, if I didn't already say it on the voiceover, a whole bunch of people came in to help bring the dishes out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't tidied up yet. My kitchen is a disaster. My house is a disaster. Don't use the toilet. But like someone has already come in to use the toilet. But I survived. <laughs> and the people who hadn't been here before said, oh my gosh, what a beautiful home. I don't know why I always have to think like, oh, when people come over, we have to pretend we don't live here and like everything has to be super nice and clean. I say that, but then as soon as I bring the rest of this food out, I'm gonna come back in and clean just because it needs clean. Not because I feel like I need to impress anyone, but because I feel better when my house is clean and nicer to look at, right? <laughs> Gotta get my baby wrap back on and then bring these delicious snacks out. I just wanted to emphasize like when people come over, they come over for you. They come over to hang out with you or in this case, they're coming over to really hang out with Alex. And someone commented on one of my previous videos, like if you're coming over to see me, come over anytime. If you're coming over to see the house, make an appointment. <laughs> but I mean, if they're coming over to see you, they're not gonna care what your house looks like, okay? Let's have some fun. And that's what it's all about, having a grand old time. That's exactly what happened today. Grand old time, a uh, good old time. And then I came back indoors, needed to tidy some stuff up, starting with the dining room. I figured I would start with what people see when they first walk into the house, which is dining room. I also did Meredith's room, but then they were also playing in there. So I don't know, I didn't film that part. So a uh, few kids were over naturally you guys know all about it so the dining room wasn't too messy but there were a ton of boxes in there most of them were empty I was like why the heck and then I don't even know that same box of boxes <laughs> empty boxes I put in the garage and then this morning 
I found it by the front door. And I was like, what the heck is going on? So yes, I need to put it in the recyclable bin. But today was the recyclable day and they were out by the road and with everything else and there wasn't any room for it. Anyway, I needed space. Oh, speaking of essential oils. So I have a couple of like high brand essential oils. I think they're Young Living. I got them off of Amazon. This is Christmas Spirit, which is actually pretty affordable compared to some of the other things. And I had another one, Gentle Baby, and I think one more. I don't know. I have three, maybe four. Who the heck knows? Just currently, anyway. So I usually put in Eden's Garden essential oils, but I feel like whenever I use Young, Young Living, it really, like I can smell it more. But I don't know if that's just initially or if it lasts just as long because, a, you know, a couple of hours, maybe not a couple hours, but like an hour later, I was walking and I was like, oh, did it get turned off because I don't smell it anymore? Maybe I got used to the smell or I don't know, it didn't catch the water the right way. But anyway, I do like the more... And I'm trying to find more of them. What is your favorite scents? What are your favorite scents to diffuse? How about that more specifically? Because um, that's what I like to do with them. I don't like really do anything else with them. But there you go. I'd love to diffuse some. What are your favorites? And I'd love to check them out and see if they're right up my alley. Because, you know, certain scents just agree with me more than others. I'm more of a citrusy kind of gal. Uh, which is why I like the Christmas Spirit Blend because I feel like there's a lot of orange in that, surprisingly. Orange and then like maybe hints of cinnamon, but not really. It's Anyway, it's a different kind of cr Christmas scent. Next to that, did I tell you guys the hot dog and mac and cheese? Was that in this video or the past video? Anyway, DW has a new candle out, hot dog. That's for real. But they also posted on their Instagram on April Fool's that they were coming out with mac and cheese hand soap. And I was like, what the heck is happening? Uh, apparently, that was just an April Fool's joke. Joke's on me because I believed it. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, my gosh. And then someone was over and asked if we had any good April Fool's pranks um, on that were happening on April Fool's Day. And I was said, yes, uh, Ma Eleanor said, oh my gosh, there's a mouse in my room. And there's a computer mouse. So clever. So funny. Must have got that off the internet. And then she had a joke. Let me try to think about what the joke is uh, because you're definitely, you're definitely going to need it in your day. Hold up. Okay. So here goes the joke. You're driving a car and an old man with a uh, pushing a baby in a stroller walks in front of you what do you hit i'm gonna give you a minute or two so you can answer the question in your mind but also for me i had a lot of like backup questions <laughs> but i said if there's uh you know there's no option if i have to hit something I'm going to hit the old man. You know, he's lived his life. He's had a good life. The baby has his whole life to live. You know, I got the old man. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know? And Eleanor said, no, mom, hit the brakes. <laughs> you hit the brakes. She said, I said, what would you hit? Not who would you hit? And I just thought that was a really good joke. So that's a good one. Keep that in your back pocket for the next time there's a lull in your conversation. <laughs> uh, so technically that's on April Fool's Day prank, but uh, it made me laugh on April Fool's Day. So hope you had a good April Fool's. Do you celebrate? <laughs> Does anyone really celebrate? It's just, it's just a nonsense holiday. How did that even originate? That would be interesting to know. Should we find out together? Hold up. Well, honestly, it depends on where you look. History Channel or Wikipedia, it's got a different couple of reasons. It's all nonsense. If you ask me, I don't care about it anymore. <laughs> so I'm moving on. Rascal Flats style. That's another thing. Dan plus Shay reminds me so much of Rascal Flats. Love them. Love them. It's like the new age Rascal Flats. I love them both. Old school country, new school country, new school. Good enough. Anyway, moved on to cleaning my kitchen. This is the heart of the home. It is always needing to be tidy. And I can tell you right now in real life, I just got done cleaning my kitchen again. It was a mess. I want to give a shout out to all the people who thought kinetic sand was a great idea to give all of my kids during the holidays. Um, and I'm here to remind you, no, it is not a good idea. It is not a good gift to give. Please stop mass producing this product. It is everywhere. There, 
I love how they market the product like, oh, such easy cleanup. No worries. You just swipe it and it, you know, it's magnetics onto itself. No, it doesn't. Not when it's on my carpet. It doesn't. Not when it's everywhere all over my floor. Not when there's a trail of it. Not when it's smooshed into my couch. I'm sorry. No, thank you. Literally all over my house. And then like, oh, well, your kids. Bleh. Yeah. Okay. So I walked out of the room for a few minutes. My kids are young and they're crazy, wild and crazy, just like kids should be, just like they are usually, which is fine. That's how they learn. That's how they play. Uh, but kinetic sand does not help out the situation. I'm just saying that. Oh, gosh, I was everywhere. Had to take out my vacuum and do all that mess. Happy to report, though, that my floors are clean, and that's really the pro that came out of that, which, by the way, I always love cleaning my floors. I used just the vacuum this time. I figured that was the best way to get up all the kinetic sand that was literally everywhere, and um, it got it all up. And I love emptying that thing. Holy crap. Every time I vacuum, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is everything it's sucked up. It amazes me every time. I don't even know what kind of vacuum I have. Upright something? A shark? Shark lift? Uplift? Something like that. It's fantastic. I I mean, it's whatever. It's a vacuum. I got it from Costco. Good deal. Wait for a sale and all that good stuff. Speaking of Costco, ooh, la 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 la. My glasses are here. Well, you'll figure it out at the end of the video. Uh I think I added a clip in there in a minute. Um, But yeah, I'm just finishing up. And I never like to leave all these dishes out on the counter. Like I wash them and then I'll wipe the counters down to give them a minute to dry up. And if you wash them in hot water, they actually dry pretty quickly because the hot water just kind of evaporates faster. Or so I've been told at one point in my life. Who knows if that's a lie or whatever. And you know what I was reading the other day? It's like, what did you guys do without the internet? What did you do without Google? How did you live your life? How did you have your questions answered? It's like, no, we didn't have our questions answered. We sat there. We wondered. And then one day your Aunt Lucy would tell you, oh, yeah, this is a thing. And you went on believing it for the rest of your life. You went on believing it like that was law. Even... If if you had no idea, (laughs) yeah, even if it was not the truth, and that just made me laugh. I was like, isn't that funny? That's how it was. Not anymore. You're like watching a movie. Oh, how old is this actor? Look him up. Who are they married to? Blah, 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 you know? Okay, anyway, I bought these um, Clorox cleaning, toilet cleaning wands. I hear all the other cleaning gurus talking about them, how amazing they are. They're pretty cool. They have a cool factor, eight out of 10. Practical factor, I I don't know, whatever. It's like if you have double sticks, if you have double the space to keep the sticks, if you have a good storage system. I don't. uh, I don't plan on repurchasing them. I found them at Costco. They were on sale a good deal. And I thought this might might be good for the kids. And I was showing Avelina how to use it. It's a little different than just, you know, the spray and stuff. And she loved it. She thought, oh my gosh, this is amazing. How long do I do this? I was like, longer. (laughs) I said, just keep on scrubbing till it doesn't suds anymore. I'm just kidding. But anyway, so it was fun for them to do. But obviously anything new is exciting and fun, right? And uh, I don't like the how wasteful it is. So I don't know. If you factor in what's more wasteful, that every time, Avelina wanted to say hi, that every time or the bottles of, you know, solution you put in there. So it's a give or take situation, pick your poison kind of thing. But for me personally, I don't think I'll buy them again. I just, I don't know. Not my thing. But cleaning up the bathroom. So when people come in here to use the boudoir is clean. So I'm at Costco waiting to pick up my glasses. They're finally in. I'm pumped about receiving them. I don't know if I told you, but I ordered prescription sunglasses for the very first time. (laughs) I'm really pumped. I think they're gonna be great. I don't know, everyone that I told that I got them, they said, oh my gosh, it's a game changer. You're gonna love them. So I hope I love them. Also see what's behind me, a new product. Check this out, two brushes and some hair clips. Oh my gosh, 17 bucks, Never mind. but it's a wet brush. It is a zoo in here today. Don't come on the weekend. Bad news. Only my contacts came in. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. I rushed all the way up here. While I'm here, I might as well get some shampoo and stuff. I like to look for sales. I just passed this. First time I've seen Method Body Wash here. Oh my gosh, and it comes with a pump. That's pretty sweet. I do love this sense of Method Body Wash. 
I wish they were on sale because that is pricey. I grabbed a wonky cart and I feel like this part of Costco is dead. Listen, the sample lady, I heard they're doing away with the samples. They're getting like, um, I don't know what they're called. Little like medians. That's not the right word. Just like, con not containers. But anyway, she talked me into it. Liquid IV. I've been loving my liquid IV. Hashtag non-spawns. I love the yuzu pine. Well, I don't love. I can deal with <laughs> the pineapple and the lemon, but the strawberry, they're discontinuing. So she talked me into it. She's like, I have three bags left. And I was like, I will take one of those. Thank you so much. I realized I never said goodbye, but thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Hope you enjoyed it. Sad that my glasses weren't in, but it will happen someday very soon. I will see you next time. Bye.